Welcome back to another one of my productivity training videos. In this video, I wanna give you some advice and share this tool, SaneBox, which can really help you to process your email more efficiently. And this is particularly useful if you are someone that is currently overwhelmed by email. It's really common with clients that I've worked with in the past, I've shared their screens and I've been shocked at the number of unread messages in their account. I've seen hundreds, sometimes thousands of messages that are unread and just inboxes that are absolutely overwhelming. It's a problem that's getting worse with the amount of email being sent and received in this day and age. And so SaneBox is an incredibly powerful tool that can help you to manage your email more effectively and it will help you to process email so you can get to the really important stuff much quicker and leave the less important stuff and come back to that later if you need to. Uh, this is a tool that Actually, one of the great things works with any service that you use as well. So if you are, if you have a G Suite account, iCloud, Office 365, Yahoo, maybe you have some company account that's really, you know, that your company wants you to use a really particular bit of software. Despite any account you use or app that you use, SaneBox will actually work with any of them because SaneBox sits between your email and the cloud. And so for me, for example, I'm on Apple Mail. Apple Mail doesn't come with you know, snoozing and the ability to sort my email. Uh, but SaneBox, what it does is when I get a message from, from through my Apple Mail account or my iCloud account, SaneBox sees that email, it sorts it into different folders for me before it arrives on my Mac or even on my phone as well. So it's a bit like having your own digital assistant just sorting email for you, uh, which is really cool when you open up your email first thing in the morning. So. To walk through how to get started with SaneBox, first thing you're gonna do is want to connect your mail account. You, when you sign up to SaneBox, you can connect multiple email accounts. So if you want to connect your personal and your work, you can do that as well. I've connected iCloud and my G Suite accounts. And so on this page, you can just put in your, uh, choose your email service, put in your email address and set it up. And so here are my two email accounts up here. Now, what I would suggest the first thing you do is go to the settings tab, oops, go, not the settings, uh, go to the folders tab, and this is where you can enable the different features of SaneBox. So I'll talk through them briefly now. So number one, important messages just go straight to your inbox like they normally would. So this is, uh, yeah, they just, just, just go straight to the inbox. You can set some rules here if you want minimal inter interruptions, if you want to allow new contacts to come through, uh, or, or, or you can have all messages come through until you train SaneBox. So there's a few options there you can enable when you are setting up SaneBox. And then we have the same later folder. This is sort of the primary folder that we, the other, the sort of secondary inbox that we use when you have SaneBox set up. So what, what happens is, like I said, when you receive a message, SaneBox looks at the contents of that message and it uses artificial intelligence to work out if it's important or not. And let me say that it's actually incredible. SaneBox has a really powerful ability to work out what's important and what's not. I still can't work out how they do it, but they do a really good job of working out what's important and what's not. So I am genuinely impressed when I go to my inbox and I see this is all important stuff and same later is generally less important. It's stuff I'm happy to get to, you know, later in the day or tomorrow if I need to. So if you are someone who's currently struggling with email, and you just want a quick way to get to the important stuff, sign up to SaneBox and just turn it on. You'll get these, the same later folder set up, and you've got a really quick way to just get to your important email. So if I actually go to my Apple Mail account, you can see I've got my inbox up here with some messages in it. And then here's my same later folder with messages that aren't as important. They're just sort of kept separate so I can focus on my main inbox for now. So that's all it, all it takes to set up. Uh, and if, if that's all you do, you'll be really happy and, and you'll be really impressed with, with SaneBox's ability to prioritize your email. When you're ready and you wanna take it to that next level, there are a bunch of other features you can enable as well. So there's some other folders we can turn on, like Sane News. So SaneBox will recognize what's kind of news, um, kind of mailing list type emails that you get, and it can put those into a, a separate news folder. You can turn on, I have it disabled, but you can turn on a CC folder. So if you just want messages you're CC'd on, they're not actually addressed directly to you. You could keep those separate as well. There is also the sane black hole. So as the name kind of suggests, when you put something in there, it's just a black hole. And so if you get messages from that recipient or that service 
again. They just go straight into the black hole. You'll never hear from that person again. So it's a little bit different to marking messages as spam. Spam would actually be, you know, this person is spamming me. The black hole is more of like, I just don't want to hear from you again. You can create your own custom folders as well. So when you set those up, you can create rules and say, for example, with my mailing list, I could say when somebody replies to one of my um, uh, convert kit, my you know mailing list emails, I want those to go into my custom folder and keep those subscriber replies separate. There are some other power tools here, so you can turn on features like do not disturb uh, and say no replies. That's actually a really good one, for example. If you want to keep track of emails that you've sent but you have not received a reply to, you could turn that on. Really great if you actually work in sales, for example. And then you get to one of my favorite features of SaneBox, which is the snooze folders. So there are different snooze folders you can turn on. Uh, so you can see there's things like Sane tonight, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, next week, next month, three days, one week, or you could set up your own custom snooze frequency as well. So I've just actually set up tomorrow and next week. And so the way this works is when you drag an email, let me do one now. Let's drag this one into Sane, uh, let's do it into tomorrow. So I'm processing my email, I'm like, I wanna to get to that tomorrow. I'll put it in there, you can see I have a couple in here already. Samebox will resurface those, it'll move those back to my inbox tomorrow. One of the really cool things you can do with this is you can even enable an automatic reply. So if I put something in my tomorrow folder, I could have Samebox automatically send a response, hey, sorry for the delay, I'll get back to you tomorrow. So people know that you know I've received their email and I'm going to get back to them. So it's a really cool way to actually automate some of the communication and, and processing of your email. So those are some of the snooze folders. And then finally down the bottom here, there's some other features you can do. There's uh, same reminders. So this is where you can, if you've ever emailed yourself, you've probably done this before, you can email uh, a special same box address. So for example, let me show you some, you could see here, um, message september.7 at samebox.com and then rather than just emailing yourself, it'll actually put the email or the reminder into your inbox on that date that you've specified. So it's kind of like a to-do list system where you're saying, here's the reminder I want for myself, but only show me on this day. So it's even more powerful than just simply emailing yourself. So that is sane reminders. You've also got sane attachments. So if you want to automatically back up attachments, have those saved to Dropbox or Google Drive, you can enable the cloud storage option as well. And then finally, you do have some subject and domain filters. So if you want to help train SaneBox to get smarter, you could set up some logic here where when the subject contains or begins with certain text, you could have those messages go to a specific folder. And that's the other thing is, even, even actually if you don't use the subject or domain rules, simply by moving messages between the folders, if I have something in later and it's actually important, I could just drag it in and then I'm actually teaching SaneBox how to get smarter at processing my email. So it is something that definitely gets uh, smarter and, and more capable with time as well. Now, like I said at the start, the great thing about SaneBox is that it works on the cloud. It sort of sits between your email and the email sort of coming in from, from the server. And so if you're like me, you use something like Apple Mail, Apple Mail doesn't have these types of features like reminders or snoozing mail. But because I've set up SaneBox, it works on the server. All these folders here that you can see in the sidebar, they also show up on my phone as well. So I can even be processing messages on my phone. I can be looking through the different same folders and um, working out or helping SaneBox to work out what's important or not. I can be snoozing my emails as well, all on my phone, even though the Apple Mail client doesn't even have any of these features. And, and to me, that is the brilliant thing about SaneBox is I can keep using Mail, which is an app that I really enjoy using, but I can get even more power out of it. So like I said at the start, if you're currently just drowning in email and need a quick way to get to the important ones, sign up to SaneBox, turn it on and just wait and see what happens uh, just so that it can help you filter the important emails. And like I said, when you're happy, when you're ready to dip your toes in a little bit more, you'll, I think you'll find some really useful features in here to help snooze and uh, sort your email in more efficient ways. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.